Hi guys and welcome to BC302 F major and swing pattern building. I'm going to go to a close up. Okay guys, so F major has B flat in it. That's what you need to know. F major scale has B flat in it. And you play B flat as we've covered before. It's like this with the first finger covering the first key and this B flat key. If you don't know what this B flat is, then nip back to my other videos and I put these already and a few others. Okay, so um, with F major, and whenever we're playing F major, what I want to make sure is that I'm ready on that B flat. Because I'm using this B flat, if you notice in my left hand here, my finger has already covered the B flat key. This B flat key. I don't have to worry about it anymore, it's already there, ready and waiting for me. So when I play the scale, I can just walk up to it, so I don't have to worry about B flats. I'm, I've got it in mind that B flats are in there, it's very important. If I play F major without a B flat in it, then it's not going to sound like F major. It's that simple. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up the scale, so it's literally F, as we have done, just alphabetical, musical alphabetically, I seven notes, walking up and putting B flat instead of B natural, so it starts with. <laughs> F G A B flat C D E F and then come back down. Okay guys, if you've been following my course you know the drill by now, so you don't need me to go over that. It's literally just F low to F with the octave key on with B flats um in there as well. Um, okay, so let's do the normal thing. We'll outline the chord. So that's what are the three notes in F major do we think? It's the first note of the scale, the third note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale. It makes, we're in a major key, F major, and it makes the major chord, the chord of F major. So that's F, A, and C. F major chord. So if you ever play um, a piece that's in F major and someone asks you to play an F major chord, well, there you go. F. A and C. So we're going to use our arpeggio pattern to work that out, to um, just practice that, so... So definitely put that into your practice, guys. The F major scale, walking up to the top and then walking back down. Um, another thing that I'd like to start practicing now is, now that you're happy with a few different scales, Experiment with different rhythms. So the one we're going to do today is a swung rhythm. Very common in, obviously, spring in a lot of blues. You do a long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. It's kind of, kind of lazy. So I'm playing this too. I'm going to do a long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. <laughs> That's a very common little pattern to do in all swing music and blues. So have a, have a go guys at putting that into all of your scales from now on. So try G major, long, short. Try it on um, C major. So it's just getting you really good at doing a couple of different rhythms. So you'll be able to walk just with a metronome, absolutely straight, ta 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 ta. Then with a metronome, swung, ta 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 ta. Little short one today, Alright guys. Have a little play around with that. Try your your scales in swung rhythms. Make sure you get happy with um, F major scale and some songs involving these things coming shortly. All right, guys. Catch you next time. Bye.